Well, wouldn't you know that I just <laughs> turned my camera off and a package was delivered from Amazon. Um, so I've had this on my list of things to buy for quite some time. Um, surprised it just comes <laughs> in a box like this. Um, but it's a lino cutting set. Uh, so it comes with some craft ink pads. Okay, cool. Um, a lino cutter with six blades, six different blades. Probably all the different ones that you would possibly need. I've never done this before. Um, a uh, exacto exa knife. Um, and then lino sheets or whatever they're called. Um, they are flexible. There's a good number of them. What, two, four, six, eight, ten. Um, I've already started to kind of make a version of my strawberry painting that I want to do as a three color lino print. So I'm starting ambitiously. Um, I'll see, I'll record the process uh, and see how it goes. I've never done it before. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, this is, this is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> See how it goes. out my three layers um, here. <laughs> this is going to be red, and this is going to be green, and this is going to be teal. So I'm going to cut these out, trace them on, I guess, three pieces of lino board, whatever these are called. No idea. Um, and then get to carving. I'm gonna throw on the Romcomers audiobook, which I love Catherine Center. Um, I love her I love her writing via audiobooks. I don't know that I've ever read her, but listening to her, it's uh, it's fun times. It's good stuff. She doesn't eat you alive. No, Charlie agreed but she flirts with me, which is weirdly similar. We were entering our sixth and final week of writing, which meant I don't know what you're going for.
<laughs> um, welcome back. I, I mean, you, you've been here. I shouldn't say welcome back. That was an experience. Um, only a little bit of blood was shed, all things considered. I'm sure you were cringing the whole entire time being like, lady, what are you doing? Because <laughs> um, that's exactly what I was thinking. I don't have one of those, I think it's called a brayer, the roller thing. I don't have one of those, I need to get those. These tips are pretty dull, I think. Um, this whole set was $35 on Amazon, which I think is worth it just for like these pink things. Um, so I'm gonna see about getting like some speedball tips I think would be better. Um, and I know I started compli more complicated than somebody who has never done lino cutting before probably should have done. I probably should have started with some like little tiny stamps, um, which I'll do, which I'll do. I have ideas. Obviously there's gonna be a strawberry stamp and a little tulip stamp um, and whatever, but <laughs> how fun is this? Uh, I wish the red were darker. I might do another one and see if I can paint the red directly on here like I did with these two. Um, especially the green came out a lot better. But yeah, how fun. How fun. Um, it's it's a lot of work um, doing all of this, a lot of, a lot of garbage. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do it this way instead of, I know some people um, carve like the first layer and then continue to carve out the next layer and the next layer. But I thought if I did them in three different pieces, then I can make multiple cards, right? Or multiple prints is, is the thought. Um, so yeah, let me try, I'm gonna try doing one more, loading on the paint a lot thicker and I'm gonna see how that turns out. Sure. So I'm just using acrylic paint. Um, I know that there's inks and things that you can use. I do have acrylic ink. I wonder if that would work better. But I know there's like specific ink ink that you get for these. What do you think? Is it going to be better? Oh, that's much better. Much better. Okay. Cool. bit wet but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Thicker, thicker is definitely better. Final stamp. 
press, whatever it's called. Not great, but <laughs> um, but better. So number one, number two, definitely thicker paint is better. I think having the roller and then rolling it on the stamp is probably the way to go. Um, this seemed to have pick up, picked up some of the red. Um, maybe the red still wasn't all that dry, but anyway, for not having a clue what I'm doing. That was pretty fun. <laughs> uh, that was pretty fun. Only one, only one little casualty of a finger. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah. Enjoyable, very enjoyable. Definitely gonna be doing more of this. I don't know that I'm gonna film everything, but um, I guess I now have lino print added to my list of toys to play with. Um, okay, that's it. I have to clean up this mess that took a long time. Um, I think I was at that for a couple of hours, <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, it was so fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed um, the little unboxing and having a play. And yeah, I will see you very soon. Bye.